All right, guys, so here's what I found. This is called a flamingo flower. So let's talk about the care for this flower. The soil needs to be well draining, and that means that you need to add either orchid bark to the soil, perlite, something that's gonna help the soil drain because you don't wanna put this plant in lots of water for it to sit because it'll get root rot. And that's what kills your plants. So this is the um, soil that I'm gonna be using in the extra ZZ plants that I have. This is actually miracle Grow, and I did get it from Walmart, but it's a moisture control potting mix. So as you can see here, it says it protects against over and under watering. So I believe it also has some fertilizer in it, but this is just what I, I use. You want to use well draining soil for your plants. So here's an idea. You can go to Walmart and you can probably buy this there if you can find it. And so happy planning. So we need well drained soil. And that means you could put cocoa coir, uh, perlite, you can add orchid bark mix to the soil to make it drain. You never want to put your plants in soggy soil because then they will die of root rot. So let's talk about lighting. You never want to put it in the sun. You want to put it to where it can see the sun. If you put it in direct sunlight, you'll start to burn the leaves. Let's talk about watering. You wanna put your finger in the soil to test and see if the plant is dry or if it's moist. If it's moist, you don't wanna water it. If it's dry, then you do wanna water it. This plant is similar to a peace lily. You can see this little baby right here. Peace lilies actually grow those as well, except for the flowers are white. But they have heart-shaped leaves. They're so cute and I can't wait to get this plant to thrive again. That is a lot. I mean, it was just dripping. You could see my hands are wet. Just sitting in all that wetness. I mean, who wants to sit in water? What wants to sit in water? Maybe there's some things that like to sit in water, like a well, shark, hippo. But these plants don't want to sit in water. Really? So. I added some perlite to this, make it a little bit airy. Now I'm gonna put it back in its little pot. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. I'm gonna put this little baby back in there. I'm gonna add this soil to the top. It doesn't need any more water, so I'm not gonna water it. I'm just gonna put that in there. Maybe I put a little bit too much perlite, but hey. And there we go. Before I forget, this is a poisonous plant. So you don't want your pets to eat this, nor do you want to eat this because you will get very, very sick. So I just thought I should let you know in case you have pets and they like to chew on your plants, you wanna keep this far, far away from your pets. These are so cute. I love the color of the plant and I can't wait to get it to thrive again.